Surrey came into this second round fixture off the back of a comfortable win over Warwickshire at the Keir Oval. Lancashire, alternatively, were unable to force victory against Essex at Chelmsford in their season opener, and things didn't start well for the visitors as Hamid feathered a full in-swinging ball off Sam Curran behind to Folks in the second over of the day. Davis got off to a solid start, picking up boundaries off a confident Surrey bowling attack. New batsman Proctor didn't look as comfortable, and in the 11th over he fell victim to Tom Curran, caught behind at second slip by Borthwick. Three overs later, Footit got his first wicket of the game, trapping Davis LBW with a full in-swinging ball, and the pressure was on the visitors. Livingston, acting as deputy skipper in the absence of the injured Stephen Croft, looked to steady the ship and played some classy shots whilst at the other end, Chanderpool struggled. However, it was the young captain who was next to fall as he flicked the ball straight into the hands of Stoneman at mid-wicket off foot it. The Surrey paceman was on fire and whilst incoming batsman Villas managed to edge his first ball for four, foot it took his third wicket of the day two balls later, wrapping the pads of the South African batsman. Chander Paul and McLaren managed to survive the following six overs to take the score to 91 for five at lunch. Both batsmen came out after the break playing with intent and took the momentum away from Surrey. McLaren scored a useful 28 before he misjudged a ball from Batty and was dismissed LBW. Chander Paul was joined at the crease by Clark, who attacked from the offset and played some wonderful strokes and the two began to build a formidable looking partnership. Tom Curran had a great chance to get the breakthrough when Chanderpool edged the ball to second slip but Borthwick failed to hold on to the catch. Clark was the first to his 50 and brought it up with a boundary and Chanderpool reached his half century shortly after. With the score at 214 for 6 at tee, the pair proceeded to take apart the Surrey bowlers, bringing up their 100 partnership in the 66th over of the day and as the Surrey attack tired, Clark rocketed to his maiden 100 off just 118 balls, bringing it up with a huge six off foot it. The two batsmen batted until stumps and left the field with the score at 294 for six, Clark on 108 not out and Chanderpool unbeaten on 85. An outstanding partnership of 172 with the two batsmen taking their side into day two in a strong position.